the U.S. should just stop all arms shipments to Israel. If they want to continue this genocide, they can do it by making their own weapons instead of being dependent upon the United States to supply them with arms. Overnight, President Biden's most forceful comments yet as Israel ramps up its offensive against Hamas and Rafah. If they go into Rafah, I'm not supplying the weapons that have been used historically to deal with Rafah, to deal with the cities, to deal with that problem. The president has already paused a shipment of 3,500 additional U.S. bombs to Israel. President Biden also acknowledging for the first time that American bombs have been used against Palestinian civilians, telling CNN. Civilians have been killed in Gaza as a consequence of those bombs. An Israeli official tells. So this means that, the, yes, the U.S. is complicit in war crimes committed by the Israeli government and Israel since they're supplying Israel with the weapons used to commit these war crimes. And yes, killing civilians is a war crime. NBC News, there is deep frustration over the U.S. decision to delay the bomb shipment. Republican yeah, critics Biden. also pushing back. I think Biden's uh, treading on some thin ice there and he's making a big mistake. This as ceasefire talks. Right, because it's a big mistake not to give the Israeli government bombs that they would use to kill innocent civilians. Uh, just want to watch people die. Between the Israelis and Hamas reach a critical stage. The State Department says an agreement that could stop the fighting and secure the release of the hostages is within reach. With protest. Really, is it within reach when the Israeli government is just going to... Uh, reject the next ceasefire proposal, claiming whatever BS that they want. Just over the war looming over his re-election bid, the president traveling to battleground Wisconsin, noting his opponent, Mr. Trump, visited the same site six years ago to announce a $10 billion electronics factory, a project that never got off the ground. They dug a hole with those golden shovels, and then they fell into it. Recent polls show... More than likely... Uh, Trump had announced a, that project so that some rich people could get more money and not actually have to pay. So Americans trust Mr. Trump over President Biden on the economy. The president acknowledging overnight that Americans are struggling with inflation, but... If you take a look at what the men people have, they have the money to spend. And asked about... Mr. Not really. People don't have the money to spend when most of their income is being spent on <coughs> rent and other bills. When food keeps increasing, and people can barely afford uh, food from the stores. Everything is increasing. Uh, wait, the wages aren't increasing to match inflation. So, like, no, people don't really have money to spend. Mr. Trump's recent comments to a Milwaukee newspaper suggesting he won't accept the results of the 2024 election if he loses. The president was blunt. It's saying whether he, and he may not accept the outcome of the election. I promise you he won't. Well, yeah, Trump will probably scream um, that the election was stolen from him a second time and probably try another uh, revolt against the government because he's a sore loser. Also looming over the administration, a high-stakes report by the State Department on whether Israel has violated international law in Gaza. That's been delayed. It was initially expected Wednesday, but now we're told it could be finished in the next few days. Savannah? Well, yeah, it's obvious that the Israeli government is committing war crimes. Look at the thousands of civilians killed. Look at the aid workers killed. Look at the uh, uh, journalists being killed. Um, yeah, so on and so on. The Israeli government has been committing a lot of war crimes. Look at what they're doing in the West Bank. Stealing land. The idea of killing people and raiding homes. Israeli settlers killing people and stealing uh, land. All that's war crimes.